This is a video on how to create the drawing sheet uh, for your automata box assembly turn in. So in order to create a drawing sheet, um, we're going to need to make a new file. But before we start anything, we always want to um, go to projects. And we always want to make sure that we are in the correct project folder. So I've named mine, um, you know, 2017, 2018 automata box. So I'm going to say done. And we need to create a brand new drawing sheet together. So to create a new drawing sheet, we're going to go to file. We're going to go to new, and once your new dialog box opens up, you want to make sure you're in English. And we're going to come out here to ANSI IDW. IDW stands for Inventor Drawing. You're going to tap on ANSI IDW and click Create. Once you uh, have completed clicking on ANSI IDW and clicking Create, you will have a drawing sheet loaded. Now this right here is a large size sheet. And the parts of a drawing sheet are a border, which you'll see around here. You can always use your mouse. Like if you, if I just put my, wherever I put my mouse and use my mouse wheel, it's going to zoom in. So you notice like this is like the letter D in the number eight. So you'd say, you know, in area D8, looking down, just like you look on any grid. So you'll notice that as I move my mouse wheel, wherever I put it is where my mouse zooms in. Now over on the right hand side, I want to click on this top, um, second from the bottom there's a button right here that says zoom all and that's going to give you a full zoomed view on your screen at the bottom right hand corner down here you'll notice you have something known as a title block and you can see my name you can see the date that I made this and this is a D size sheet of paper this is a pretty large sheet of paper we're going to change the size of that sheet of paper so I'm going to click on zoom all and what I want you to do is we're going to come over here to our browser bar and I want you to right click on ANSI large and that is your title block in the bottom right hand corner right click on that and go to delete we don't want that for what we're going to turn in for the class. Then I want you to right click on sheet one. I want you to go to edit sheet. When edit sheet shows up, you're going to click on the letter D and you're going to go down to the letter A. And where it says sheet, you can highlight that and we'll call this automata assembly. And you're going to say OK. And you'll notice that now I can see those letters and those numbers really easily because we've decreased this to an A size sheet. An A size sheet is the same size sheet that you would print a uh, paper for an English class on. It's 8.5 by 11, what comes out of almost any printer you would use. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place a multi view drawing of our automata box assembly. You're going to go to base in the top left hand corner and click on your magnifying glass. And when you go to your magnifying glass, you're going to find your box assembly. You can note that these, um, oh, you can see that these uh, cube shapes right here, these oblique cube shapes with a flat front face and the parallel depth lines, those are your parts. But you can see these kind of three blocks put together. That's an assembly file. So you're just going to tap on your assembly file and say open. And give that a second to, to work around. And you'll notice that you have a box right here. Now this is the front view of my box. The reason why when we made the part defining the front view on the view cube is so important is now that when you go to make a drawing you want your front view to be what you see here. Now I could come up here and flip this around and click on my arrows and it's gonna move around that object. Now what I want to do is I want to click and hold down the middle and kind of drag this down here towards the bottom left. The same way that you would do a multi-view drawing in your engineering notebook. I told you, kind of give yourself some space above. We're going to just drag this to the bottom left and just let off. Then without, without clicking anything, I just want you to drag up. I'm not pushing down anything. I'm just going to drag up and you're going to see that little square and I'm going to tap. And I'm going to go to the right of my front view and you can see that line showing up and we're going to tap. Go to your top right hand corner of your sheet. Make sure you don't go off the page and I just want you to tap once. Then right click and then say OK. And then this is now going to automatically create for you a multi-view drawing. They are perfectly in alignment. If I drag this up, they, your views cannot get out of alignment. Many of you in your engineering notebooks, you had problems with aligning views. Look at this. There's no missing alignment. So. One thing we want to see though is that I don't see any of my hidden lines in my top view. I don't see hidden lines and I want those hidden lines. I want you to drag your mouse towards your front view and just in the middle. Whenever you see this red square show up around your object, that's when you can go in and edit the view. So once you see that red square, right click and go to edit view and this will pop up. And you have these different view style orientation boxes here. And Right now we have hidden lines removed. We want hidden lines, so push in that button and say OK. And you're going to notice now you have hidden lines in your side view. 
The other thing we want is we want our isometric view to be in color. You don't want your front, top, and side orthographic projection views to be in color because we're going to put some dimensions on this. So come up to your um, isometric view, right click, and go to edit view. And then you're going to come over here to your style cube, and this is going to be shaded, and you're going to push in the shaded button, and you're going to say OK. And you're going to see now that's the exact same color of whatever it is that you made your box. Now, we're going to place some very basic dimensions on this object. So we're going to go up to the Annotate tab. And all we're really going to do is the height, width, and the depth. In the top left-hand corner, you're going to see things that we've talked about in class. This is a regular dimension line. You see the extension in the dimension line. And then you're also going to see something that says baseline dimension, and you're going to see chain dimension. What's neat about anything in Inventor is if you just leave your mouse on the top of something, you're automatically going to see um, an example of what exactly that button does. I'm just leaving my mouse there. So we talked about datum dimension. Ordinate dimensioning in Inventor is datum dimensioning. So what we're going to click on is we're just going to click on the dimension button. And what I want to do is I want to go from left to right, full left, far left to far right. So I'm just going to tap on a line and then tap on a line and drag up. And I want you to notice that as you drag up, you'll have these snaps. You want to go to the first snap away from the object and click. And then this box will show up, and it allows you to do all kinds of editing for the dimension. Now, in this case, we don't want to edit every single dimension when it comes up, so uncheck this box and say OK. Remember, we have three dimensions, height, width, and depth. So we just did height, and we're going to do width. You want to do your best to keep your dimensions on the front view if possible. So I'm just going to click on the top of our object, at the bottom of our object, and we're going to drag to the left and I'm going to left click to place as soon as I got that first snap. A lot of times people will have problems because they'll click on points. So if I want to know the midpoint of this line up to here, I could click on that and drag it over. If you're just doing just basic um, size dimensions, which is what we're doing right now, just the size dimensions are just lines. So just click on a line. Now remember, we want to have adjacency in our depth dimension. So one thing we want to have is I, want to, I can put my depth dimension here or here. I'm going to choose to place it in the top view. So I'm going to click on dimension, and I'm going to click on my line. I'm going to drag over to here. And we have height, width, and depth. Now, we could go in and place the gap distances for all of these little um, you know, thicknesses here. But if you remember, the, we had the same thickness throughout on our automata box. So we're just going to place a note. But you might wonder, how can I go about finding out what that thickness was without placing a dimension. I go up to the Tools tab up here, and you see something that says Distance over here on the left. Click on Distance, and I'm just going to say from here to here was what, and it's 0.23. I didn't place a dimension. I can just find any measurement that I want. I can come back into here, like I can get out of here and come back to Distance and say, you know, what's the distance from here down to here? And it's going to draw this imaginary construction line and tell me. What we're going to do is just place a note on the drawing that says that wall thicknesses are 0.23. So I'm going to go back to Annotate. And there's a button up here that says text, this big letter A. Click on that big letter A, and down here underneath the object, just somewhere down here, we're going to click. And you're going to get this dialog box comes up that just, just like Microsoft Word. And let's put this in italics. We're going to put that in italics, and we're going to say all um, thicknesses, or all thickness equals 0 0.23 inches. And say OK. Now, it would be ridiculously redundant for us to come in here and measure all these. Let's right-click and say OK. Wouldn't it be redundant if I came in here and said, oh, from there to there is 0.23, and then from there to there is 0.23? We know that all the thicknesses are the same, so we just put a note on there. Remember, you can use the undo button, this arrow to the left up here, anytime you mess up. So I don't want to keep those. And what we have right here is we have all thicknesses. You can zoom in on this when you see this kind of uh, directional arrows. It looks like north, south, east, west. You can click and hold down and drag over. And it's going to tap outside of that. We have all thickness equals 0.23. So what I need for you to do after this is you click on the text button. And anywhere up here at the top, you're just going to tap. And you're going to go bold. And listen, all caps, you're going to put your name. So I'm just going to write the word name, but you're going to put your name and under, hit enter. And then write the hour that you have. That's all you have to do. You can highlight that, put it in bold say OK, and it's going to be right up here at the top. Real easy to see. So once you notice, we did our size dimensions. We did width, we did height, and we did depth. There was no need to put in the thicknesses for every single piece because we can just put one note on here. That's not being redundant. Once you are done with this, you can hit the Save button and save this as box drawing. You can say this as automata drawing, whatever you wish to do. But for your turn in, you have to turn this into a PDF file. So I want you to go to File 
and you can go down to something that says export and you can click on this button right here that says PDF and when you click on PDF this is automatically going to pop up and you can save this as a PDF if you by chance have any problems converting that to a PDF remember that you can always use the snipping tool and you can come up here and click on new and you can just highlight it just drag a highlight over the top save it and then turn it in that way so what I want you to note is that notice this drawing right here gives an isometric view gives an equal measure view of your shaded automata box and also gives you the dimensions of the box width height and depth we get the thickness real easy to look at um, and this could be what we call a working drawing this is not a sketch this is a this is a drawing that you could print out hand to somebody give them the automata box pieces and they should look at this and know how to put it together so this is a working drawing so this has been a video on how to create the automata box turn in for your automata box construction assignment